Today's video is sponsored by ZWorkStations.com. Hey, what's going on everybody? Now I know that many of my fans out there are PC guys and most of us use our PCs to just play the crap out of games. But what if you're a person out there who not only wants to play games, you'd like to actually try to make a game or do something crazy and creative using 3D AutoCAD or any other program out there? Well, how does a 44 core 88 thread rendering beast workstation sound to you? Do I got your attention? Cause today's system is just that. It is is just one incredible beast of a rendering machine. And like I said, the system that we're gonna look at today is very expensive and high, and it's about 14K. It's something like you'd see on the full or of Disney, Pixar, anybody out there who's making a 3D movie or something like that, they're gonna have a machine of this caliber inside of their rendering house. That's just a fact. Now, I know many people out there, like, you know, in some sectors, they're like, oh, HP, man, the desktop market and all that. Uh, there's a lot of like, ee but in the the enterprise market, HP just seriously kicks ass. They have a lot of killer machines. The machine that we're checking out today is from a company called ZWorkStations.com, and what they do is they basically just offer custom configurations at a very low price so that you guys can grab systems. Now, obviously, many people out there at home are going 14K, yeah, come on, Eric, we can't afford that, no. But they have systems coming into market from around $2,000 all the way up to meet your needs. And if you use Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, Avid Media Composer, Maya, AutoCAD, any type of program like that, and you're doing it and making money off it, time is money. And we're gonna show you today that this machine saves you such an amazing amount of time doing rendering that you can actually render so many more videos than other type of machines that it well makes it worth your while. So if you're doing video, you're doing editing, and you want quick, quick, quick response, this is the type of machine you wanna have inside your office. And if you're having trouble getting started on a system, the guys at ZWorkStation.com will help you configure the perfect system based on the software you're looking to run. So with that said though, let's real quickly, let's take a look at this system, which secretly I like to call the Panther because it's just sweet and fast and gnarly, but you know, they won't call it that, but that's me. But with that said though, let's check out first the system itself, the specs, and then let's show you why systems like this are incredible for people who use these for a living and want to save money by saving time with more productivity. Starting off looking at the front, you guys can see that this system is simplicity itself. We see a graded design which offers airflow through the system. There are four USB 3.0 ports. We also see the Blu-ray DVD player, and then there's the power button, simplistic itself. As we spin it around the side, what makes this thing really cool is the modular design. There are two components that have to be removed for you to access the system, the top one and the bottom one. The bottom compartment cover, it's just there to keep dust and other debris out of your system so that nothing interferes with your airflow. But the top compartment, it actually contains all the fans and everything that actually keep your system running cool. You guys can see there are six fans in every direction keeping the system running cool and quiet. Once both these side covers are removed, you guys can see clearly into the system that everything has well cable management. There's nothing blocking the airflow whatsoever, and changing out the components is very easy because you have nothing restricting your way of getting to those parts. You guys can also see that both the CPUs have a passive fan on them. All the cooling comes from the side panel, which we showed you just a second ago. Now the CPUs inside this thing are crazy. Dual 22 core, 2.2 gigahertz Intel Xeon E5 V4 CPUs. Now that's incredible. So with this, you're getting 44 cores and 88 threads, which is a maximum amount of power that you can get right now. The system also contains 256 gigabytes of 2133 megahertz DDR4 ECC registered RAM. We all know that SSDs are getting bigger and bigger and the price is coming down, but what about a two terabyte P3600 Intel PCIe Enterprise SSD. Now this thing is incredibly fast, offering write speeds of 2600 megabytes a second and read speeds of 1600 megabytes a second. So you know that's gonna be offering great performance when you're moving all your files around or doing rendering. 
So far, the specs have been pretty damn outrageous, right? Well, what about the video card? Well, the video card insider is actually $2,500 just by itself. It's the K6000 Quadro from NVIDIA, and this thing has 12 gigabytes of GDR5, so you know this is just gonna be one ass-kicking card for doing anything at all that has to do with workflow. Making things, moving things, doing anything. Hell, if you're looking for serious power, you guys all know that the Quadro cards are where it's at. And lastly, on the very bottom, you guys can see a Thunderbolt 2 card. As you guys are looking inside the chassis, you guys are probably wondering, hey man, where is the power supply? And that's another cool feature actually this HP system is because the power supply is so well integrated into the chassis itself, making it completely unobtrusive to anything you're doing. But don't think these systems don't have a lot of power behind them because you can configure your system with up to three Quadro graphics cards. Like I said, the Z840 workstation that we received came with Windows 10 pre-installed, but you can also buy your system with no software at all or a variety of Windows operating systems or Linux operating systems. Real quick before we show you the performance test of this Z840 workstation beast, I cannot stress to you how much in the professional world that time equals money. The more projects that you can complete in your workday equals more money that you'll make. So the faster the system and the better it works means it saves you money and at the end of the day actually makes you more money. With that said though, let's check out the performance of the Z840 workstation beast. First up, we show you Cinebench. Cinebench tests both the CPU and GPU and gives you varying scores compared to different systems. As you guys can see, the rendering beast kicks serious ass across the board. The AJA system test, it tests your storage and how fast it transfers the data. And you guys can see that the 3600 series from Intel offers incredibly fast transfer speeds around the block. Geekbench 3, you guys all know this test. You guys can see from our iMac, which is pretty much the top of line that you can get compared to this, just gets a serious ass whipping. Most of the rendering that we do in-house, we do on my i7 iMac, and it's pretty much the latest, greatest iMac you can get your hands on. It's fully decked out, has 32 gigabytes of RAM, has the latest processor, the latest ATI processor that comes inside of it. That's what you can pretty much get on the Mac side of the things unless you get yourself a trash can. And we all know the trash cans just aren't that upgradable at all. They're basically about three-year-old technology, so I'm not really even worried about that. A lot of people, though, do work off of iMac, so, we use Final Cut Pro and we made a 60 second prawn video that we edited and did everything on our iMac and then we did the same exact thing using Premiere using the Z840 system by ZWorkstations.com. And you guys are gonna see that the time allotment on this is just amazing. The differences are four seconds versus a minute and a half. And that's just incredible. Think about the actual workflow and space you'll use with those kind of numbers. With those kind of numbers, you could actually render 22 videos in the same time using Premiere on the Z840 system than you can on our currently fully built iMac. That's pretty damn incredible numbers. Now, as we go building videos with this company, we're gonna get different systems in and take the testing further and further and show you things. Now, like I said before, this system comes in a range of about $14,000, but you can get many different systems on zworkstations.com. For example, you can get an 18 core Z workstation with 64 gigabytes of RAM, a super fast flash storage drive, and the latest Quadro M4000 graphics cards for $6,000, which literally runs circles around the fully built $10,000 Mac Pro trash can. And the reason that they're different from HP is they offer a lot of different things that you can do as far as the configurations go. They offer all offer you guys a lot of different discount pricing. So basically you guys can get the most decked out, best systems and save a lot of money though just by buying your system from zworkstations.com. And if you're looking for something that's just geared for kicking ass, geared for working, you guys should check out their website and check out their products. You know, you don't have to spend $14,000, but if you run Premiere, you run a lot of Adobe software type projects, you do anything that has to do with CAD, 3D, my anything in that type of realm of application, then these are the type of systems you're gonna wanna check out. You're gonna have something that's a server, that's going to be steady, it's going to be stable, it's not going to crash on you, it's going to run cool and quiet and get all of your needs done in the shortest time possible. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching the channel. Like usual, we'll have the information about this down below. And today's video was sponsored by zworkstations.com and we've got more systems from them to come, so stay tuned.